Welcome to Move With Intention, the podcast where we come together to connect, to grow, to start thinking a little bit more intentionally and have a whole lot of fun along the way. Thank you guys for being here. We're going to talk about showing up today. But before we get into our episode, I want to go ahead and go three things that we feel grateful for. Three things could be energy, experiences, opportunities, people, whatever you want them to be. But we're going to reflect and we're going to connect to that gratitude to go ahead and take a second, really hone in on what you are feeling grateful for today. Remember, this can change day in, day out. The most important thing is to bring that energy within and really feel the gratitude. And so today, while you guys are thinking, my three things are gonna be mobility, which may sound like a crazy one, but after lots of traveling, being on a plane, here, there, everywhere, it's really awesome to get back to a mobility routine and feel my body bounce right back and get back into it. And having that flexibility, the range of motion is so important because I can just do things day to day without so much tension, without so much tightness, without so much pain. So mobility for me, number one, numero uno today. Number two, I would have to say my friends. And when I say friends, I'm talking about all my friends, all my friends, all my families, whether they're together with me a lot of the time or not, long distance or not, I actually got to reconnect with a friend yesterday while here in Pennsylvania and we had the best chat ever. And it's just so nice to have friends that you stay in contact with, you stay in touch with, and you get to have those deep, meaningful conversations. Even if you don't see each other very often, it's always worth showing up as a 10, putting in that energy and being a good friend because you never know where that's going to lead you down the road. And, you know, it's not about giving to receive. It's about giving and it always comes back tenfold no matter what. And number three for gratitude for me today is water. Guys, let's be grateful for the agua. I've been drinking water like crazy these days. And honestly, if you could choose only one thing to drink for the rest of your life, what would it be? What would it be? Would it be coffee? Would it be tea? Would it be water? Mine, 152% would be water. So go ahead and think of your three. Guys, they can be anything. They can be silly. They can be meaningful and deep every single time. I want you to choose it and I want you to own it. Go ahead and think about those things. And remember, say it out loud because there's a power that comes. There's an energy that comes with saying things aloud. So go ahead and declare your three gratitudes of the day. And then we're going to jump into our power statements. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. Go ahead and release it. Connect to that gratitude. It's always a good feeling, right? We're going to connect to the energy. The energy of gratitude has a lot of positivity in it. And so that's the feeling that we want to bring within. We want to hold it within. It's going to empower us through the day. And then our power statements are what's going to have our back when we're decision making through the day. So remember, power statement or your action statement, your affirmation statement, whatever you want to call it, is something that you feel very connected to and then something that's going to help back you up when it comes to decision making. So my power statement of the day is I am mobile. I am mobile. I am mobile. I am flexible. I am elastic, if you put it. And the reason that I, I choose that is because of all the travel that I've been doing and I'm feeling so like rickety. If you guys have ever been on a plane or a bus or a train or maybe crammed up in a car for a long period of time and you get out and you just feel like, holy moly, I shrunk four inches where like it's just lots of cramping and it's tightness and it's tension. And so my power statement this week is I am mobile. I am mobile in my my reaffirmation of that, okay, my, my power statement, my action statement is I practice mobility because I care about the future movement of my life. I, I care about the future Lacey and how she's gonna reach the top of the cupboard, probably with a step stool, honestly, if we're being real here, but I care about how she's gonna bend down in a squat, how she's gonna pick up her little kids one day, she has any, or a dog, okay? Because all of the things that you do in a mobility routine more so than stretching is bringing those muscles, those joints, those ligaments through full ranges of motion. So not to go into a whole spiel, but mobility is medicine. Mobility is medicine. So that's my power statement, my action statement today. Go ahead and think of yours. Remember something that you feel really connected to and then something that's going to help you make good decisions. And so mine today is helping me show up, which is what we're going to talk about get stretching, get mobility in no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing. I always have time. I make the time because it's important for me now and for future me. 
And so diving into today's conversation, it's going to be about showing up. And I had a really interesting conversation just the other day. And then actually this month, it was one of the subjects that we were, we were talking about, we were studying, we were having a guest speaker on about it. And it's showing up as a 10. Now, if you were to make a list, and if you want to do this right now, I'm going to go ahead and urge you to do this. This is not my creation of an activity, but it's something that I wanted to share because it's been on my mind a lot this month. It's helped me be the person that I want to be in situations where in the past, maybe I would have shied away. I would have taken a step back. I would have thought, no, let me just wait. And then I'll like show up later for this. No, this has helped me show up as a 10 in all different aspects, all different areas of my life. And I'm really proud of that and I'm really excited about that and if I keep it in then that's selfish I want to share it that's why I'm a teacher that's why I'm coaching that's why I'm instructing I mean I, I love to learn life lifelong learner over here I don't know if anyone else can agree or if anyone else resonates with that but the beauty of learning is that you get to share it and the beauty of sharing is that you get to connect to it and connect with others to it so I could go on and on about that because it's my favorite thing ever but the thing that we were talking about when it comes to showing up is being a 10. And so I want you to write a list or even just an imaginary list in your head, write down your best friend's name or your best friend's name if you have multiple, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your aunt, uncles, anyone that you have close to you, cousins, it could be nieces, nephews, it could be your boss, can be on that list you should put yourself on that list i want you to make a list of at least 15 people it's going to be easy probably the first 10 easy peasy lemon squeezy we're not about easy we're stretching ourselves here that's why we're doing these different exercises while we're having these conversations so stretching ourselves let's make at least 15 and if you want to be a superstar 20 put 20 people on that list and then i want you to go through honestly because you're not lying to anyone except for yourself and that's me calling you out because accountability is love. Rate those relationships from one to 10. And this is not about them. It's not about how they show up for you or what problems they're causing you or the different things you're handling because of them. No, this is about you. This is about me when I make my list. How am I showing up as a 10? How am I showing up in these relationships, scale of one to 10, one being the lowest, 10 being the greatest, so go ahead and rate yourselves, okay? This is where it gets a little juicy. People are gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm a 10. I'm a 10, but I haven't talked to them in about 10 years. No, let's be honest, be honest. How are you showing up for others and how are you showing up and how does this play into your life, right? Because if you're showing up like this for people, you're showing up like this for yourself. If you're showing, like, showing up like this for yourself, that translates into other areas of your life as well, your career, your relationshiping, of course, like we're talking about now, how you react to different situations, the way that you think, and that goes how you think about yourself, how you think about others, how you think about different things, how you perceive the world around you. So with that list, I want you to go through, I'll, I'll talk it through real nice and slow, and I want you to pick that number. You can write it down. Remember, it's nice to write it down because you have something to reflect on. Reflection, connection, we gotta piece those together. Or you can just, if you're driving, please don't write because, you know, multitasking not going to help. We're going to do this in our minds. And then later you can write the list because I think it's really helpful and it's kind of mind boggling to see it written down. So go ahead and write down your mom's name. Go ahead and write down your dad's name. You can also do any parental guardian. Okay. This is flexible. Of course, your grandparents names, aunts, uncles, cousins, Maybe you have a couple, maybe you want to just put one or two. This is completely up to you, but go ahead and write these names down. I'm going to give you a second. And then we're also going to say friends, best friends, BFFLs, <laughs> nieces, nephews, put your dog on there if you want your cat. How you show up for them? Because maybe you have a real realization that you show up for your pets more than you show up for your family. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean... Dogs are awesome. I'm allergic to cats, but I do love them. Um, what else? How about your coworkers? Write down your coworkers, write down your boss or your bosses. Write down your own name on this list. Write down yourself, write down your name. I'm writing down Lacey. Okay, now I want you to seriously think one to 10, one lowest, 10 is the highest. How are you showing up in these relationships? Once you have your numbers, I want you to just like take them, look at them, reflect on them. Okay, how do you show up for your mom? One through 10, how you show up for your dad? One through 10, how you show up for your grandparents? 
your uncles, your aunts, one through 10. What's your number? Are you averaging a six, a seven, an eight? Maybe you're a 10 all across, like kudos to you because we know it's not easy. It starts with awareness and then it begins to just show up in our lives. Because once we start with one person, we feel how good it feels. And it's not about them. It's not about us being, you know, this perfect role model. We gotta show up because we're fitting this T, this perfect T of a person. No, it has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with image. We're not living in survival over here. It has everything to do with who we are being. And so this episode is all about showing up, but in reality, the, the broad scheme of things, it's who we are being. Because who we are being is going to impact the life that we get to live while we're here on earth. And this is earth school. So all the things that happen to us, whether we want them, whether we expect them or not, we get to learn from them, utilize them as wisdom, and then move on, make the next best decision, share it with others, help others grow, expand, etc., etc. And so it's all about what we choose to do with these life experiences and how we show up for them, who we're being. So it's all about who, 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 who. And so reflecting on our lists, we can take a second and we can really think, okay, like I'm showing up in this relationship as a 10. You got to keep at it, right? You can't just show up as a 10 and be like, okay, at this moment, January, 2024 or February, 2024, rather, I'm showing up as a 10. So I'm good for the rest of the year. No, this is your commitment. This is what you get to do. It's not a have to do. It's not a, oh God another responsibility to add to the checklist no this is something that you get to do as a, a daughter as a son as a significant other put your spouse on there your significant other your boyfriend your girlfriend whatever the case is and you get to show up like that because you care because you want to because you want to be the person that's able to receive the love the connection the bo the bonding and the strong meaningful relationships from these people around you and so reflecting on that list and you're probably wondering okay why why is it so important to show up as a 10? And like, what if this friend of mine or this person in my life doesn't show up as a 10 for me? Like, why should I show up as a 10 for them? And the thing is, it's not about them. That's the outside world. Just like it's not about material items. This is all external and it's all outside of ourselves. We can't control other people. We can't control their responses, their reactions, anything, their attitude, their moods. All we can control is ourselves and when i say ourselves i'm talking mindset mentality how we perceive things okay the way that we receive them and perceive them that's all on us not anybody else we're not pointing fingers here because remember as soon as you point the finger you give your power away and when you give your power away you become a victim to the situation and it's harder to get out of it because we create stories and our stories support us just like crutches imagine you have a broken leg and no crutch okay our stories we start to lean on them they feel comfortable at least they feel better than standing without our leg okay because we got a cast on it or whatever the case but we got a broken leg here and so our stories become our crutches and if we let go of the crutches we let go of the stories and we start to do some mobility we start to walk we start to train we start to show up for ourselves because if we go to the doctor and we say okay i broke my leg this is a little side rant but i think it's kind of relevant we go to the doctor we broke our leg and the doctor's like okay yes exactly it's the fibula <laughs> just kidding it's this bone it's that bone it's whatever it's a t torn muscle whatever the case he's like so i'm gonna write you a prescription for this and we're gonna put a cream on it here and and then we're gonna get a cast on it and you're like great okay let me get that prescription let me go down to like you know the other department get my cast and he's like oh no i'm gonna give that to your dad and i'm gonna give the prescription for the pain to your mom and then I'll send your sister down to get the cast on her leg. And you're like, what? what? Why would you do that? Like, I'm the one with the problem. Like, I need the prescriptions. I need the cast. I need the help. It's the same thing when we look outward to fix our problems. Because outward, outwardly focused and external cannot fix the problems that we have within. We have to look within. We get to be responsible. We get to point the fingers at ourselves because that gives us our power back. Every time we point our finger outward, it gives it away and it leaves us with our crutches, with our stories. And so long story short, when you decide to show up as a 10, it's because you take responsibility. It's because you know that you get to, it's gonna make you a better person. It's gonna make you the person that you want to be living the life experience that you wanna live here because it's all up to us, right? We can't give someone else our happiness and expect them to be the one that delivers, delivers, delivers. No, we have to create that within. So just like happiness, we get to also create responsibility within too. And so showing up as a 10 for ourselves 
means that we love ourselves, we respect ourselves. We might not be exactly where we wanna be, but we know that if we come from love, we're taking one baby step here at a time. It's not a leap, you cannot climb a mountain in a night. It is a slow process and we, got to, we get to enjoy the process while we're doing it. It's not about the final destination because if it were, imagine this, if life were about the final destination and getting to the tippy tippy top, the final destination of a human is death. And so we're just trying to beat the clock and race to death. But no, instead, we get to live. Life is part of this experience. This is where we get to learn, grow, connect, meet people that change our lives and then also change other people's lives around us as well. And so when we choose to show up and be a 10, then we give ourselves, we give our energy, we come from love, we connect to intention or whatever it is that lights us up, that gets us going, that fires up our hearts and our souls. And we get to live in that energy because that's the energy that we create for ourselves. We're not looking outward, wondering, where's that energy gonna come? You know, it's Monday, I thought it would show up so it would push me through the week. No, we get to create that within ourselves. And that's a pretty awesome gift once we embrace it, acknowledge it, and begin to utilize it. And so showing up as, as a 10, and I've said this a hundred times by now, if I had a dollar for every time I said this, Lord, but if we show up as a 10, it's because we want to be in that energy. We want to be that person because that's the kind of person that's going to take to get to where we want to go, receive the things that we want to receive, build the life and the connections that we want to have, that we want to experience. And because connections, if we live a life and we're just isolated, we're alone, imagine, imagine how that will feel because as humans, we're like genetically created to connect and to be together and to share experiences and to have conversations and to think and to ponder and to wonder and and together we can do so much more than we can alone and this is a topic that gets me all fired up because it's so true and i mean connection is vital connection is vital and a lot of times especially when you graduate college after you've finished and you're not surrounded constantly by extracurriculars and groups and clubs and different societies to join you you enter the workforce in most cases or you're traveling you're doing this and that alone it's all about how can i get on this career path this trajectory and level up level up level up but what about community what about connection and so when you start to show up for yourself as a 10 you connect to what truly means something to you what you truly value you get to know yourself better than ever because if you neglect yourself push yourself off you think nah you know i have i have friends i have social media i have going out on the weekends and partying like those are all amazing things but they can also be utilized as distractions like social media can be a beautiful tool if you know how to utilize it, it can also be the worst the deadliest the scariest distraction that keeps you from evolving that keeps you from your dreams that keeps you from being productive and being the person that you want to be so it's all about our perception or our perspective rather and how we utilize these different things and so showing up as a 10 for yourself is going to translate into the connection you have with yourself which is then going to open up the door to how you connect to others and when you truly know how to connect to others you don't feel this pressure and how do I start the conversation and what are we going to like bond over there's no way I have nothing in common with these people no you become open enough and vulnerable enough and you show up as a 10 for people that you don't even know you show up as a 10 in the street for a stranger who dropped something on the ground because you think I'm going to be the person that you know communicates with them that they drop something and I get I get to be responsible and I saw this no one else did let me just help someone out because I never know when I'll be down the road and need someone to help me out whenever you give something it's not about receiving but whenever you do give something and it comes from the heart you will always 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 receive tenfold back always and that comes from the energy and i think i've talked about this before but there's a study done on dopamine and serotonin and when you witness an act of kindness you automatically get like a immune system boost and a dose of dopamine and serotonin in your system especially the serotonin and then the receiver also gets that same dose. And imagine this, the person on the bench in the park that has nothing to do with the interaction also gets that same boost just because they've observed what's going on, this act of kindness between two individuals or groups of people, whatever the case is. And so I think that's so magical and that is so cool. We gotta use that to our advantage, right? This is like 
free energy and energy that we can just create. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't cost us any time. It's just something that we can get to create and we can put ourselves on automatic to create. It's just like drop of a hat and that's just the way that our mind is going to be transformed into thinking okay instead of like me 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 what's in it for me no how can i give how can i give how can i show up how can i create meaningful connections that last me for a lifetime and you're going to meet people of course i'm not saying that don't show up for you at all they don't show up for you as a zero as a one as a two as a three and maybe they never will and that's on them it has nothing to do with you has nothing to do with me it's all about our perception and what we have control over and we have control every single day to show up as a 10 for others for our loved ones for ourselves for the things that we're passionate about for the things that we want to do for our life because life goes by way too quickly and i heard this from my mom for years and years like the older you get the faster it's gonna go and mom you're right moms are never wrong you know very rarely they're wrong so this is not to boost anyone's ego but i mean i'm sure my mom is smiling bigger than it can be but life goes by really fast and so if you wait to show up because you're scared or you wait to show up because you're not sure you're not ready life's gonna pass you by and this goes for yourself this goes for connections with others this goes for the relationship you have in your life because your network is your net worth and i'm sure you guys have heard that especially when it comes to business terminology but the people that you are surrounded by has a huge reflection on you and if you find yourself surrounded by people that you do not resonate with it's okay to take a step back show up for yourself as a 10 versus everyone else you just have to know where your core beliefs are where your values lie how connected you are to yourself to your desires to your passions to your vision and then take action so really quickly because i usually try to keep these like 20 minutes long i want to share that recently on a trip i decided that no matter what i was showing up as a 10. i was show, showing up as a 10 for the event that i planned i was showing up as a 10 for the people that i coordinated with showing up as a 10 in all regards even though it was a vacation even though it was a family trip like whatever the case and i have never in my entire life ever never ever 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 out of all the travels i've ever done had as much fun as i had on this trip to saint lucia and the caribbean and it was an absolute blast. It was a blast because the people were awesome. Of course, company is more important in, in most regards than the, than the location. But the location was, of course, breathtaking. And the people there, the quality of the people there in St. Lucia was absolutely magnifying. Their energy, their smiles, they were so vibrant, full of life, and just ready to help you, ready to know you. Of course, they wanted to know your story. It wasn't just you're um, here staying at the hotel and I'm working. No, they wanted to bond. They wanted to connect. We got into like a dance battle every single night of the week. I mean, if you know me, then you know I like to dance. And so, of course, if I meet someone else that likes to dance, we're going at it. We're having a dance battle. We're going to go all out and have a super fun time while we do it. And instead of holding back because I knew that I was going to be with family and I knew I was going to be in public and I should, you know, behave myself or I shouldn't be so wild on the dance floor, I just let it all go and I showed up as a 10. And you might think that doesn't make any sense or how does that translate into the conversation? But for me, it shows up hugely because i showed up as a 10 in all different regards i didn't hold back because if you don't show up as a 10 a lot of times it's because you do not have the connection to intention you are hesitant because you're not confident you are you know maybe pointing the finger or you're not taking responsibility for your actions and your reactions and so this time i just literally put it all out there and i was like you know what anything that tugs on my heartstrings i'm gonna do it anything that comes to mind of course you know not risking the safety of anybody ever, but anything that comes to mind that I wanna do, that I think would be fun, that might make other people laugh or have a good time and bring people together, I'm doing it. No reservations, no hesitation, no stress, no pressure. Like I was full out living my best life, 10 out of 10, and everybody else gave me that same 10 out of 10 energy back. And I, I feel like I'm infected by something. Like when I went down there, I came home, I landed in the Miami airport with my family and I have a huge smile on my face. like. You know, I'm in Miami, everyone's kind of like, this line, this line, go over here, passport control, got to pass through there. And I'm like, oh, I'm in America again. But the fact that I chose to show up as a 10, no hesitation, no reservation, I got that right back from people that I didn't even know at the resort in St. Lucia. And then everyone around me also, in the same exact token, they did the things they wanted to do. They danced, they sang, they ate, they drank no hesitation no reservation on my part and i have never had a more pure experience traveling vacationing planning events planning something i mean it was absolutely 
fabulous. And that's because I leaned into my authentic self, showing up 10 out of 10 for myself and then everyone else around me. And it just was like a domino effect. So that's what I'm trying to say is that it's a domino effect to when you choose to show up as a 10, the people around you start to see, they start to notice, they start to say, what is she up to? What is he up to? And then they too are impacted and begin to show up as a 10. It might not be immediate, it might take a conversation, it might never come at all. However, it's all about you and your experience and what kind of experience do you wanna have while you're here on this earth. So showing up as a 10 today, was our topic. If you feel like any of this resonated with you, if you feel like you already do show up as a 10 for everybody, then I want to freaking give you a shout out because that's amazing. And if you don't, this is a really awesome place to start. Get to work, get evaluating, get reflecting, give some gratitude, start with yourself. You know, it's not selfish. It is full of love to start with yourself, okay? Because you cannot give to others what you do not have within. And that is the truest you might think you can, but it only lasts so long. So start with yourself, fill yourself up with love, fill yourself up with a 10 out of 10 connection, 10 out of 10 relationship, and keep moving with intention. Guys, I can't wait to get back here with you soon. I'm so excited for what's coming in 2024. So many, so many, so many, like literally so many projects and so many things to share with you. But until the next time, I will see you back here soon. Have a great day.